viewers, good day. So today we are going to have another lesson which is about angle of elevation. But before that, let me give you the correct answers on the previous activity. So for the measure of this side, which is the adjacent side, that's 15.20 unit. And for the measured angle B, that's 18.21 degrees. And the measured angle A is 71.79 degrees. Thank you so much for everyone who answered the activity. Alright, so let us start the discussion about angle of elevation. So what is an angle of elevation? It is an angle formed from the horizontal line to the top of the object being observed. Okay, so for you to better understand, suppose this is an illustration of a tree. This is the lamppost. This is the base of the lamppost, base of the tree. So this distance from the base of the tree so the base of the lamppost is what we call the horizontal line. Now, if you are going to observe the angle formed from the base of the tree of the lamppost to the top of the tree, you are going to have first the line of sight. So, what is the line of sight? The line of sight connects the base of the lamppost to the object or the top of the tree. And now, as you have noticed here, we have created a right angle. So definitely, we created a right triangle here. So where is the angle of elevation? It is found here inside the triangle. Okay? So again, angle of elevation is the angle formed between the line of sight and the horizontal line. So now, let us apply our knowledge of angle of elevation to a problem. So suppose one wants to measure the height of a tree. The distance from the base of the lamppost to the tree is exactly 100 feet. Let us write it. 100 feet. Now, the angle from the ground to the top of the tree is 42 degrees. Now, listen to the um, keyword, the angle from the ground to the top. So that means it is referring to the angle of elevation. Again, the angle of elevation is always from the ground up. So we can locate here the angle of elevation which measures 42 degrees. Now the problem is, how tall is a tree? So for us to solve this, we are still going to use the six trigonometric ratios or one of those six trigonometric ratios. So we are going to choose later on between Soka and Toba once again. So how? Since we already have here the angle theta, the angle of elevation, 42 degrees, we have this the distance 100 feet. We can say that since this is the angle theta, this would be the adjacent side. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. And what are we looking for? We are looking for the height of the tree. And it happened to be the opposite side. Opposite side. So applying solving right triangles, given the measure one on angle and one side, we may now proceed. So given the adjacent side, which is 100 feet, and we are looking for the opposite side, which is the height of the tree. So that's A and O. We can simply say that we are going to use Tawa. So again, Tawa means tangent theta equals opposite over the adjacent side. So I hope you can still remember the concept. So what is the angle of theta? Angle of theta is given the angle of elevation. So that's tangent 42 degrees equals the opposite side, that's what we are looking for, the height of the tree. So opposite over the adjacent side, which happens to be the distance from the base of the tree to the base of the lamppost, which is 100 feet. Now again, for us to find out the measure of the opposite side, we may cross multiply, or you can multiply both sides by 100. So we, in here, we can get opposite by multiplying 100 by tangent 42 degrees. So, let's find out using your calculators. So, that means 100 times tangent 42 degrees. You are going to get...
get this. I hope you got the same answer. So that's the measure of the opposite side is 90.04. Do we need to use degree symbol? No, or the degree unit? No, because we are not talking about an angle. We are talking about the height. So since you were given here feet, you may also use feet here. So the unit measure is feet. The opposite side or the height of the key measures 90.04. So again, I'm going to give you an activity to be solved at home. So suppose a building is 52 feet high and a distance away from the building, an observer notices that the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 44 degrees. How far is the observer from the base of the building? Okay, so here's an illustration for you. Ang um, gagawin nyo lang ay mag-solve. I hope you would try on your own and you may send me your answers. Goodbye and God bless you. I hope you are fine.